All right, guys. So this is a lecture four on PHP uh, and uh, SQL and non-SQL um, websites. So uh, the previous lecture I recorded it, but then I have to delete it because you guys could not see it well. All right. So we were talking about uh, arrays, and uh, an array. If we look at a simple data type, uh, for example, if we say uh, if we say dollar x equal to five well the problem with this is you are storing only one number in this space what if you want to store 10 numbers then you have to declare dollar y dollar z so there will be too many variables so for that what we do is we have this array and the array is pretty much uh, you store inside an array uh, same data type same data type okay and by same data type I mean that you can put here integer and just only integer you can put here float and just float all right so this is zero one two three so I can put here uh, uh, 12 14 16 18 okay so I can put same data type uh, and I can put multiple numbers so they could be you know integers or float or long long uh, so those kind okay so this is the need of an array now in simple data type only one number in array only numbers we can store is the same data type but that also you know then we come up with what you guys would hear later on about object and OOP object oriented programming so an object then we can uh, store uh, multiple uh, uh, data types so I can store here integer I can store here uh, character and string and so we will discuss that as we go but for now to look at array uh, which is right here in PHP it's very really easy so you got this variable okay and then you got an array all right and we got these three uh, these three um, strings uh, are these three characters uh, words one two three so they are going to be stored like this uh, let me show you guys uh, let me show you my friends here we go so we would have in zero place we have would have that car in one place we would have the next car and in two place we would have a next car so in this array we are storing we are storing uh, characters uh, our string in this uh, and they are both they are all the same uh, type yeah um, and so in dollar car what we have we have this array and what is inside this array we have these three names so if I look if I look that would be uh, here we go we got in zero place we got this car in one place we got BMW and in the third one we got Toyota very easy if you guys have a question ask in the comments below now we will talk about uh, a little later about classes uh, so we will skip that and we will go to some built in PHP function and they are uh, very good you can call them and they will do the job for you so for example what I can say is string length the length of the string I can find out what is the length of this string and you guys can see it's gonna just output 12 if you count them it should be 12 alright so string length uh, you just you just type in string uh, s t r l e n and and then the bracket you put your uh, string and that's pretty much it so if you look the output of this statement right here uh, the output is going to be uh, output is going to be right here That should be 12 right here. Okay. And let's move on. 
uh, another uh, built-in function is a string word count so how many words are here there are two words okay and when you execute this code this function will return uh, how many words are there so we got two words and if we look at the output we look at the output that should say two easy uh, and then echo string replace can we replace uh, strings so if you guys see here we have replaced word with dolly right here and this is how you replace it okay so this word is replaced by dolly okay, and you guys can see hello dolly right there it's the output right so this built-in function is like you have something in your garage so you can just go to your garage and and take it out and fix a car or thing and if it is not built in then you need to make your own so you need to go and look search for um, whatever tool you are looking for okay so let's now talk about uh, variables uh, integer and float um, uh, so right here what we are saying is 10.365 this is how this code reads I want to put 10.365 in this space dollar x which is where the space there is only one space and that is the RAM of the computer okay and now I want to convert uh, uh, oh I want to find out that is this number float or is what is it so the way to do it is you say war underscore dump and then the built-in function again is underscore float and what, what is inside dollar x dollar that is 10.365 and the php function is underscore float is going to execute because that is in the library we don't need to build this function we say hey inside x there is something stored tell me is it um, float or integer so is it float yes it is float so if you look at the output it should say true yep right here it says true yeah easy so uh, let's look at the next one this number right here is it numeric of course it is numeric so what we are saying is underscore numeric that is a built-in function again so is underscore numeric we are passing a parameter and that parameter is dollar x but what is inside dollar x inside dollar x is this number is it a numeric of course it is a numeric uh, 5985 is stored in dollar x is it a numeric yes it is dollar x equal to 5985 plus 500 and it says is this dollar x numeric and you see we have two numbers here 100 plus 59.85 and of course it is numeric so if you look at the output it should say true there we go and let's go to the next one now look at this is this numeric hello is not numeric so we say hey inside hello uh, inside dollar x hello is stored and this hello is numeric and we are going to say uh, it's going to say clearly it is false okay so now let's move on to the next uh, next section now can we change can we change float a value a float what is a float it's a just remember it is a decimal and a float is if we have a space where we are saving the float value that is going to be a bigger value than the integer okay so when we say integer we can store a number in that space up to certain number and which I will show you later on when we say float it can uh, store a much bigger number okay and there is decimal with it so this number right here it is a float value because there is decimal and we can change this to what 
to integer look at that so you just and two bracket you say end and what is inside x inside x is this decimal end so inside dollar x is this guy right here and we say change it to integer and then store it uh, store it in this variable and then print it this is how this code read and when you print it uh, you should see that that is an integer value because there is no point in there okay the next number right here again this is a uh, I think it's the same oh so this is a string value you can see that's a string value and double quotation that make it a string value can we change it uh, to int so what is int x and double quotation when you see it that is a string value up to three four six five point seven eight that is inside dollar x we want to change it to integer and then store it in this variable and then display it on the screen okay so if you display it on the screen right here there we go that's an integer value now PHP can also return with the built-in function that is the beauty of the PHP is it has a lot of built-in function where you can call them like I said you got something in the garage you just go and grab it you don't have to go out and look in the stores for it so it's already there we call it and we say hey do something for us a function we already have established that a function do something for us okay so this function which is saying minimum it is going to find the minimum number in this list right here and the minimum number is minus 200 very easy to uh, remember and easy to write it so we go right here now if you have a problem with coding I advise that you write it on a piece of paper a lot of people don't do it you know but when you do it you can see where you are making a mistake or how this thing is executed okay so if you look here minus 200 is the minimum value there then we got a maximum value the maximum value here is uh, 150 uh, so that's going to return 150 so you just say max and it is the function name and then you are passing these parameters right there and say hey find me the highest value here very easy absolute value so absolute value for minus 6.7 is going to be 6.7 okay so that's going to just return that absolute square root is a very easy built-in function so the square root 8 times 8 is going to be 8 and <clears throat> then we go down to a little bit of if else statement uh, which is the same thing as uh, C++ um, so now if we, what we are doing we say hey what is the hour so date is a function again this is a built-in function and we, we call this date function and date function is going to give us the hour and we're going to store that hour in this variable and then when we are saying is if the hour if t what is inside t this hour if that hour is less than 20 then say have a good day else and if not then do what have a good night so it must be night okay so if you guys see uh, whatever time is it now here in the US is 820 so let's see what it tells us uh -huh. I would refresh it okay let me see to refresh it uh, right here yeah so have a good day it's after we refresh it and go down It says have a good day because it is morning it is not night it is 8 21 okay uh. <clears throat> now uh, we got a switch statement uh, also like you guys have in C++ and other programming languages and that's why I said that uh, if you learn one of the language very good try to focus on one language and you can learn the rest of the languages it's not hard then. okay so we are storing red and we're in a variable which is called dollar, dollar so this code when execute 
this right here is going to be stored here. Now we are going to test some cases. Uh, so we got this guy. Now there is red in it. So it's going to look down in the in these cases and find out where we have a red. Okay. So right here we have a red. What is inside this variable? Inside this variable is red. So this code is going to execute. And it's going to say your favorite color is red. So if you look at the output, it should say your favorite color is red. Uh, yep, there we go. All right. If I change that, um, if I change this to, let's say, blue. And save this. then this code should execute right here so if you look I'm gonna refresh and go down and that says blue right there okay right here color is blue so that is a switch statement Okay, let's go down. All right, so up to here, that's what we, you know, you guys need to practice on that. And in the next video, we want to deal with loops. Okay, just rewrite this code and execute it, and you should learn it. If not, down in the comment, let me know uh, what you guys uh, have issue with. All right, I will see you guys soon.